Well, now apparently we can't even have Dr. Seuss. That's right, we have schools that are taking the Dr. Seuss books away. We're gonna get into all the details of this, guys. Off the top of the mission to you, I am now over on Rumble. I encourage you guys, go subscribe to my Rumble page. The link is in the description. We were recently demonetized here on YouTube, lost all of our revenue, so Rumble is gonna be our backup. Subscribe there as quick as you can because we could be pulled off YouTube at any point now. Also, please like this video, share it, Hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So what's going on here, Dr. Seuss? I mean, you, you got to give me a break here. I mean, they just, you know, made a new gender neutral Mr. Potato Head. I talked about that in another video. If you guys missed it, I encourage you to go back and watch that video. Now we have a Virginia school district. This is the Loudoun County School District here in Virginia. Now, coming up on March 2nd, they have what they call the Read Across America Day, okay? So this is kind of partially goes along with celebrating the birthday of Dr. Seuss and celebrating all the books that he wrote and kids have enjoyed for decades now. I mean, I enjoyed the Dr. Seuss books, okay? You know, growing up, I read the Dr. Seuss books, but apparently they're no longer appropriate because they contain racial undertones and that's not allowed. We have to get rid of that. Now, the school system <laughs> announcing that after careful and thorough research over the course of the last year or so, they have determined, as they were working alongside with this uh, left-wing group called Learning for Justice, uh, which, fitting name, right? Because they have nothing to do with justice. They're also associated and support the platform of the Southern Poverty Law Center, uh, that little nice little group that absolutely hates Christians. But uh, anyway, yeah, Learning for Justice. They're teaming up here with the Virginia School District to go through the Dr. Seuss books. They said they reviewed over 50 of them. Okay, now we're talking about illustrations here from Dr. Seuss. But apparently there was not enough diversity in these books. Now, I, I got more on this. Stick, guys, stick with me really quick. Let me take a quick pause. I mentioned at the top here, now because we lost our revenue on YouTube, we need your help now more than ever to help donate to our ministry. If you guys would like to do that, we have a couple different ways you could do it. One is through PayPal, the PayPal link down below. You could do either a one-time donation or you could do a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month, the Patreon link down below as well. There you're going to get access to all my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. And we also include the links to the YouTube videos over on Patreon because YouTube will not always alert you for when I post new content. So Patreon is a great way to make sure you don't miss anything I do. I highly recommend it. And if you guys are able to help out to donate to our ministry, we would greatly appreciate it. So thank you for that. Now, getting back to what I was saying here, the whole diversity thing, not enough diversity here in the Dr. Seuss books. They broke this down. They they actually had this to where, oh, a, a, a certain percentages of, of these characters were not relatable to people of this color or, or this color. And, and they were obviously overwhelmingly white and offensive to other minorities. I mean, you, you can't make this stuff up. These are the lengths that they're now going towards. The Loudoun County School District now saying that, you, you know, that they, you know, this is just, we, we can't have this. We know these books have been beloved for so long, but we're educating ourselves on this type of material and we've realized and we've worked alongside with Learning for Justice and we just can't have these books in our schools anymore. So they do this right up when they're about to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday, Read Across America Day on March 2nd. And that's it. No more Dr. Seuss books at this school. Dr. Seuss has been canceled. He is gone. He is done with, he is over. And this push continues. Now, when is it gonna stop? Look, there's an agenda out there that is to completely uproot everything great about our country. It's a deception. It's from Satan himself. It's diabolical. This is a godless uprising. Let's just call it what it is, okay? Cancel culture, yeah, that's cancel culture, but it's also a godless uprising to where if you don't fit their narrative, their liberal anti-Christian narrative, then you have to go. In fact, the Learning for Justice group 
said that anybody who supports the Dr. Seuss book, so if you're someone like me who enjoyed Dr. Seuss, read the books, possibly your kids read them, you are a racial apologist, according to the group. That's what they think of me. That's what they think of you. So what's really important here? That we get people to Jesus Christ as soon as possible. And this is part of our ministry outreach. We bring you guys the news headlines of the last days. The Bible prophecy that's unfolding on a daily basis. And we do it all because we're trying to show you how close we are to the end. And we want people to come to Christ, to give your life to him. How do you do that? It's very simple. One, you repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask the Lord to forgive you. He will then wipe those sins away. You recognize that Jesus went to the cross to die for those sins. God sent his son into the world. Then you invite him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, saved. You're going to have eternal life with the Lord. There is no greater decision you're ever going to make than to come to Christ. There is not. So I pray you make that decision today if you haven't already. If you're saved, maybe share this video with somebody who isn't, and maybe this will help to minister to them and show them the times that we're living in. Guys, let me know what you think here about the cancellation of Dr. Seuss. I'll also put a link down below. They'll, they'll give you, if you want to take a look at this ridiculous way that they broke this down with the percentages and how they came up with how this is so racist, then you can check that out. If you're able to help donate to us as well, guys, those links are below. Check me out on Rumble too. Don't forget. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.